Yeah, one of those situations where you knew it was coming, still a bit of a shock to the system. And as you can see, still plenty of snow on the radar as we head into our Sunday evening. Now, some of that heavier snow right now out by Janesville, Whitewater, starting to lighten up along the lake shore. So some good news there. But as you notice, as we put this into motion, it's still not moving a whole lot. So we are expecting a few more hours of some light snow showers before we start to clear things out later on tonight. We talked about our little bullseye down here to the south, Ray seeing Kenosha counties uh, picking up a lot of three to six inch snow reports. But once you get outside of this little bullseye here, really dropping off most areas across Milwaukee County up into poor Washington, about one to two. We could add a little bit more snow onto that. But like I said, starting to lighten up. Always some good news there. Here's a look out uh, Marquette area, and it is still pretty snowy and with the wind as well. Visibility is kind of taking a hit. You can see winds right now out of the north about 15 miles an hour. Temperatures above freezing, though. That should help as far as the roadways go. A little slushy out there. Certainly want to take your time on the roads, uh, but it could be a lot worse. 30 right now in Waukesha, 35 in Port Washington. You can see most areas uh, either right at or just above that freezing mark. Uh, as we take a look at those wind gusts, as I mentioned, this is causing some visibility issues. Still out of the north, gusting as high as 30 miles an hour in spots, so uh, especially along the lake shore there uh, about a mile or so visibility. So take your time if you're going to be heading out this evening because we do have a few more hours before uh, the last of this moves out. But you can see that sharp cut off there. Madison clear uh, Fond du Lac maybe seeing a little bit of snow. Green Bay not seeing much. Uh, but here's what it looks like on our future forecast. So there's your snow right now. I think probably starting about eight nine o'clock we'll start to get uh, the snow for the most part out of here. Maybe some lingering flurries out uh, through midnight or so. But very quickly clearing out as we head into our Monday morning. Monday probably going to be one of the better days of the forecast because we'll have some sunshine and some warmer temperatures. As you can see, though, uh, heading Monday night and into our Tuesday morning, cloud cover starts moving back in. Maybe a few isolated showers for your Tuesday, but big rain chances holding off until the middle of next week. Here's your forecast for tonight. Uh, snow, wind going to continue for a few more hours, clearing out overnight. Like I said, probably after 9 o'clock is where you really see it in earnest. 30 to start off our Monday morning. Hey, 49, sunny, sorry, a couple of afternoon clouds. We will definitely take that after what we saw today. The rest of your seven-day forecast showing that warm-up continuing. A few isolated showers possible Tuesday. 57 here in Milwaukee. I think we could hit some 60s inland. And then, like I said, rain chances really picking up for Wednesday, Thursday, even some storms possible in there. Uh, Thursday topping out right at 60. And then we'll get that rain to start moving out. A little bit of a cool down there Friday and Saturday. But hey, Easter Sunday right now looking picture perfect. So uh, hopefully, knock on wood, today is the last we see of winter for a little while. Yes, that is wishful thinking. And, uh, you know, quite a roller coaster we're on going into the week ahead, but at least Easter will be okay. I was going to say we're, we're going up. Good. Easter, which That's is the way to look at it.